Remember last time we were digging in here and we punched through the side wall of this drift? Do you remember what that looked like? All right, I figure right about, right about here. Here's Johnny. Now take a look at what it looks like now. But we still have a long way to go. So I figure today we're gonna do the best we can to punch this out. So we're gonna do that first. Then after that, we're gonna go metal detecting for gold nuggets. How's that sound? We've been using the extreme power jackhammer for a long time. We went out and got another extreme power jackhammer. This is supposed to be the next class up as far as strength and weight. So we're gonna give that a shot today too. Cause I wanna know what it does. And I know you wanna know what it does. Oh, you know what I'm gonna say, huh? So come I mean, on, go, yeah. no, let's go. Not bad, look at that. Breaks it clean off. That's great. Now I can cut a nice flat channel right through there. So I can put track. It comes in from back there, here, stops here, and then dumps into the shaft sinking bucket right down in here. All right, there's our sump. You can see our drill marks over there on the wall. We're gonna have to drop that down another three to four feet. Remember this little passage right here? Look at that, all plugged up, baby. That's uh, called gobbin. It's called a mess. All right, here's our drift, all nice and clean. And then we'll dump directly into that from up here. Build a platform. Look at that, isn't that nice? Nice and clean walls. Look at that. Yeah, we're gonna sample that. We found a little bit of gold in there. Look at those bands. Look at that. Is that a nice cut or what? Look at that, nice straight walls. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now we're not sponsored by these guys whatsoever, but I just want to tell you that if you got a big job that deals with having to break up concrete or caliche, go with the Extreme Power. You won't be disappointed. These things are relatively cheap, couple hundred bucks. 
and you get them on Amazon. Now they come in different models. Of course, the most popular one is the red one, and I think it comes in at 40 pounds. And then we decided to go with the heavier one, which is the black one. It comes in at 45 pounds, and it's got a little bit more of a punch to it. So we thought we'd try this one. So all you gotta do is stay up on the oil, make sure you get the right oil for them, and you keep the, the shank greased up. I just wanted to cover that real quick because I like it when people do reviews on mining equipment, and that way I know what to get and what not to get. So I'm telling you, these extreme powers, number one in my book. All right, keep your pants on. I know, Jeff, you said you're gonna be metal detecting today. Well, that's what I'm gonna do, but I wanted to clear this out first, and I wanted you to see what it takes to do it. All right, let me get that metal detector fired up, and then we'll get in there and start hunting some nuggets. So you know what I'm gonna say, huh? Ooh, you better, so come on. My name is Jeff. Let's go! Ooh, yeah. Mm, this is gonna be fun hauling ore down through here. Come down to here, the platform, dump down in the bucket, good to go. It's gonna drop down another three, four feet. Not too shabby, huh? Not too shabby at all. That's like solid rock. That is like solid rock right there, my friend. All right, we're gonna go ahead and fire up the Gold Monster 1000, run it over our honey hole right here. Now, you know I like running manual down here, because it seems to do better. You hear that? Now that's not a target, but that's a lot of mineralization, and I can tell just by looking, it's super red. And right there. So we're going to go ahead and bring the jackhammer in, blow this out, metal detect it, and like I said, I got a big surprise for you. You're going to love it. So stay tuned. So just you keep those pants on. All right, this is what I want to show you. Look at this, see the gravels? They're all through here, through this little zone right here. See this, this is all gravel right in there. You see it? So I know there's gold in here. And look how rich this is and red. I know there's fine gold in that. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bag all this up and we're gonna run it through a wash plant because I know there's gold in it. The question is, is how much? Now, I know a lot of you are asking, Jeff, what's the big surprise? We've been waiting and waiting and we haven't heard anything. Well, here it is. If this video can get 5,000 likes, I'm gonna take you topside and show you the wash plant, the whole setup. So, it's up to you. Smash that like button. Let's get the 5,000 likes, and the next video after that will be the wash plant. And how much gold comes out of that? I know you're gonna love it. Ain't nobody seen it before. You'll be the first to see it. So you know what I'm gonna say, huh? Smash that like button. Smash it hard! All right, so we're gonna go ahead and collect all this stuff up and bag it. And run it through the wash plant. How do you like my bags, huh? They work just fine. And when we start getting into richer material, I got special sandbags right here that I use for that. Oh, you can see gravels everywhere. Look at that. Rounded river rock. It's all through here. I tell you, some other load, Latte. Mother load. Oh yeah, rich gravels all through there. All right, I'll keep working on this, get it bagged up. We'll run the Gold Monster 1000 over it again. If I get a target, then we'll dig it out together. Sound good? All right, so you know what I'm gonna say, huh? You're probably getting tired of hearing me say it, but I'll say it anyway, so come on.
Jeff. That's right, let's go! All right, Senator Jim, I got a target. At least I think I got a target. I figure we dig it together. It's in that really rich gravelly zone. Now, if it is a target, I'm going to take all that material that's around it and put it in a specially marked bag. And I'll explain why here in a minute. But for right now, let's see what we got here. Take a look at this. Look at that beautiful rich gravel in there. See all that gravel? Isn't that nice? Now look at this. All right, let's see what the detector says. See the wobble pop? See that? It shoots to the iron, and then it shoots over to the gold. Now when you hear me and other prospectors talk about the wobble pop on these Gold Monster 1000s, that's what it's referring to. It's when that little indicator will jump to the iron and then over to gold real fast. Iron, gold, iron, gold. Wobble pop, wobble pop. That's what that means. I know it sounds crazy, but it's a good indicator that it's gold. Now, there ain't no bullets and metal down here, so if it isn't a big meteorite, then I'm gonna say it's a chunk of gold. So we're gonna go ahead and dig it out and see what happens. Sound good? All right. All right, let's get the jackhammer in there and tear it on up. What do you say, huh? Grab the metal detector and hit this again. Man, that's hard going. There's targets everywhere. <laughs> All right, let's see what this is. Remember, don't use your ring finger. Wow, look at that gravel zone. Look at that. Look at all that round river rock in there. Oh, that's so tasty. It's everywhere. Well, there's something in the wall, but I know I heard something here. Oh, hush. I know I heard it. You heard it too, right? It's not my imagination. What the heck? Get tired of that. That's solid! Oh no, don't 
Don't tell me I got to drill and blast. What the heck? Don't tell me I got to... It's in there. It's in there, where are you? You see how hard this material is? Yeah. I got you. I got you. Ooh. Yeah, I got you, baby. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. It's in my hand, yeah! I don't know if you can see it. I can't see it. All I see is a bunch of rocks. Look at that, I don't know if you can see that. I get the light on that thing. Oh, come on. Look at that. Oh, there's a big piece of caliche stuck in it. Look at that monker. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. That's a heavy one too. That's what I'm talking about. That's a nice one. All right, let's check that other one. All right. No oh, hush. You see how hard this material is? But there's that gravel zone right there, you see it? Look at all that gravel. Ooh, it's out, it's out. It's out, baby. It's out of the hole. All right, let me get that off. Nope. Yeah, hard caliche. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Nope. 
Come on. Come on, baby. Come to Papa. In my hand. Is that it? Yeah. Hold still. Ooh, that's a big one. Holy cow. Look at that. It's huge. Do you see that? It's a monster. Look at that. Let me get some light on that for you. Look how big that thing is. Holy cow. They said I was crazy for digging this mine. Who's crazy now, sonny boy? Oh, it's a big one. I got two of them. Look at that. All right, I'll go ahead and screenshot these so you can see these. I'll put them up later. What I want to do is wherever these gold nuggets came out of, I'm going to dig all the dirt up from around that because wherever there's nuggets, there's got to be fines. And we're going to put them in this high grade bag right here. And we'll run that through the wash plant. And if I get any more targets, I'm going to put them in the target bag here. I'll keep digging this all out and I'll put it in those bigger paper bags so we can run it through the wash plant. And like I said, if we can get 5,000 likes on this video, I'm going to take you up on the surface and I'm going to show you what our wash plant operation looks like. But I gotta get 5,000 likes. You think you can do that, huh? Gold mining is hard work, no matter how you cut it. I'm gonna keep digging this out and I'll have a couple of these bags ready for the wash plant. And we'll run that through. All right, let's go take a closer look at these because I, I wanna see what they look like. All right, meet me back at the honey pot. Take a look at these things. Ooh, that's nice. That one's got a big chunk of caliche in it. Look at that. All right, let's get on back there. In case you wanted to know what the temperature was down here, it's about 70 degrees. That area over there is producing a lot of nuggets, but it's hard to get the waste material from there out. So that's why we want to hurry and get the haulage shaft done so we can just take it up to the top there and run it out. Makes things a whole lot easier when you can run it up that new haulage shaft because the other one's too small. So now that we got it connected, we can really start working on this plus the new Chinese drift. Oh, and by the way, we're still accepting names on that new Chinese drift because whatever you guys come up with is what we're going to put over the top of it. And don't call it slim pickings number two. That don't sound right. This is a target bag. What we normally do is if we hit a target, sometimes I'll just dig it up. I won't even check what it is and I'll throw it in this bag, usually in the find slim contest. All you got to do is find slim somewhere in the video and you get it. It's that simple. With the high grade bag, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna load up a whole bunch of these that is right next to wherever we find nuggets. I have a feeling there's gonna be a whole bunch of little finds in there in black sand, because that's what we've been finding. And of course, we'll be giving these two nuggets away. I'm gonna put a snapshot at the end of the video so you can see what they look like. The gold is there, but man, you gotta earn it. It's a great time to be a premium patron. I tell you what, they're getting ounces of gold. Now, if you're not sure what's going on about that, or you're unclear, allow me to explain it to you so you can understand in case you want to get involved with it too. Every month, we give away all the gold that we find while we're down here mining in this drift mine. We give it to our premium patrons and it's our way of saying thank you for helping us keep the dream alive. So we can't do any of this without them, that's the truth. But not only that, they also qualify to come out under our world famous claims. Hunt for three days, keep all the gold they can find. If you haven't seen those videos, ooh, I'll leave a link down below so you can check it out. Just ounces and ounces of gold coming out of there. Plus, they're eligible to get into Slim's store. And he has all kinds of stuff like t-shirts and pay dirt when we get it restocked. And of course, books. We wrote a book. This is it right here. Where to Find Gold by Jeff and Slim. It's got 30 years of information in there and the graphics are fantastic. Anybody can understand them. And I guarantee you, when you finish reading this book, you're going to know where to find gold. And it's personally signed by yours truly and Slim. Ooh, I tell you what, you'd be crazy not to want to sign up, especially with the price of gold going up. I'm telling you what. So if this sounds like something you want to do, all you got to do is look for the little icon at the end of the video that looks something like... Yeah, it looks like that. Click on it, make a $10 pledge, and you're in like Flynn. Now, before I get on out of here, there's a YouTuber out there who has a channel called Abandoned and Forgotten Places. His name is Gly. 
And he's having some health issues right now, so I'm going to leave a link to his channel down below, too. I want you to send some love his way, because he could really use it right about now. And Gly, if you're watching, send us in your shipping address, and you got a Target bag on us. How do you like them beans? You just get better, all right? All right, well, let me get out of here, because I got a whole bunch of work to do. You've seen what it takes for one day. I'll be down here for three days straight, getting out these tasty gold nuggets. Uh, and hopefully, a whole bunch of fines. So until next time, this is Jeff Williams and who? Drift mine full of gold, that's who. Saying you like watching me work in this drift mine for that shiny? Well, if you want to come down here and help, you better be prepared to work your hiney. Take care, everybody. It looks good in that arm. Roger. Maybe if I switch it on. Okay, Victor. Landing rocket arm switch is on. Here comes the throttle. We'll check your breakers in. We have separation. Roger. Get board down. Board there on. We're coming forward with the side stick. Roger. I'm gonna blow out. Paper three. Major two, zero. Major seven.